Hello and welcome back to 14 Days. Today with our uh, capable assistant, we're going to be taking a visit to the police station. Once he shuts the door. So the police station, you can always uh, find some guns and ammo and today that's what we're going to be looking for. Ignore the rain, uh, it's been raining for several days in game and the, uh, the plants might love it. So here's the police station. It's what we're going to be going after. And there we see the armory. All we've got to do is get through the two reinforced armory doors. And we'll be showing you how to do that. Through one of these three points of entry. All right, so we're just going to nip off. We're only walking there. We sh uh, she hasn't got a car at the moment. So it's not too far to go. Just basically along the main road there. Maybe keep it to the fields and then nip across. Possibly trying the front entrance. And here she goes. As you may know, in the game you can actually catch a cold if you're out in the rain too long. So it's always not always the best idea. I find with the fireman's gear it's pretty good at preventing that so far. It might be a bit of potluck involved. So as we go, we're expecting quite a lot of resistance to get to the police station. There's a few small groups like these. Shouldn't bother you as long as you've got a decent ranged uh, weapon there, melee weapon. Police station's on the end of the uh, high street, so you'll get a quite a good crowd around it. Um, probably some policemen as well, which uh, you might find you can get some weapons and ammo off of the policemen. Quite often, I've been finding that they sometimes have sort of shotguns, that kind of thing, or uh, handguns, but they don't have any ammo. So we're just going to run around, have a look around the perimeter a little bit. I think the main tactic is really to get rid of all of the zombies that were around the police station. So hopefully we'll be uninterrupted once we go in. It's worth noticing here that uh, he's becoming extremely tired, so this way you can get very dangerous. He's, he's soaking wet and he's very exhausted, so he won't be able to run away necessarily. So we're just going to sit him down, rest him until he recovers before we take on any more zombies. And we're good to go. Just clear the front of house and we'll try getting into the police station. There we go, we're in the police station. So it's always worth checking out the squad room here. Uh, there's all sorts of sort of lighters and matches and uh, holsters and things in the desks that can help along the way. I've sped this up for, for convenience. Obviously, keep your eyes out for zomboids everywhere you go. Don't forget the water cooler there just above. Good for your fresh, clean water. Again here, just checking out the room to see if there's any surprises. We just look through the door if there's any zombies in there. 
just you know that they're going to start you know banging at any point in time trying to get through to you and then we face our first secure door so if you haven't been lucky enough to find a sledgehammer what you'll find is if you've got your hammer and screwdriver kit you can just drop down to the disassemble and this is why you check the doors as long as there's no zombies around you can actually take these secure doors apart I'm not sure if this works on everyone but these doors are uh, it's very effective technique again the only thing you will find is afterwards you won't be able to shut the door behind you so there's no uh, you know protection just in case you are surprised So now just go through all the uh, cupboards as quickly as you can. Well, take your time if you need to um, and just grab what you need. Bear in mind all the guns and ammo tend to be quite heavy. If you've got a decent backpack, you should be able to get enough to keep you going. And uh, apart from some more foraging in these cupboards, that's our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe.